This is Hank at the Wildflower Bee Farm. This is a hive that was empty, and a swarm moved in. You can see we have our Vosker um, monitor there that uh, keeps track of things for us. And I was going in now to look and see, first I'm cutting away some of the branches that are all over the place. This hive hasn't been looked at for well over a year because it was empty. I have a, there's a most cover on the front, most protection area, but there's also a, about a one inch entrance uh, halfway up the uh, the box where the bees come and go, as you can see. And that's kind of weird. I, it was purchased years ago as a hive, and I never did close that up. I wonder if mice can get in, but apparently not for some reason. They didn't go in um, because when I look at this hive, I don't see any idea of a mouse anywhere. So these bees flew in as a swarm. I'm thinking about 10, maybe 11 days before this inspection. My purpose of going in is to, number one, see if there's a queen laying eggs, because I kind of suspected there may not be, um, based on the pollen coming in. I hadn't seen anything yet. And I also wanted to expect as far as the size of the swarm. So in other words, is this a really, really large one, or is this a, you know, a small one? And I'm going to have to go in... And you can see it's kind of falling apart, the inner cover. So I'm going to put some smoke in there and go have a look. So this this uh, show is really about just looking at the hives and, and, and seeing what I can find. Let's see what happens. As I pull this frame up, I'm looking to see if, if there's any eggs or larvae. But the bees are just... Oh, there's a close call. The bees are just fully covering this frame of... It's just honey and nectar with a bit of pollen. Now, I do use quite a bit of smoke because I want to make sure the queen doesn't get rolled or crushed in any way and she gets out of there. And that's been something that's worked for me over the past. And let's have a look at this frame. Again, full of uh, pollen, nectar, with some honey stores. Uh, so I keep digging to try to find, you know, is there a sign of a queen? Now, the, why would I do this? Well, if there isn't one, obviously... We can use these bees elsewhere. I could take them and, and bulk up some hives or maybe add a frame from another hive that has uh, eggs and larvae and see if I can somehow help them, you know, basically do a split with all these healthy bees. But I decided not to do that. I decided to just put it all back together. I don't like opening swarm hives anyway because you can make them swarm again if you get them upset. So what I do here is I simply close it up and because of the number of bees, however, I eventually add another box to the top because every frame is full of bees. There is no frame here that has no bees on it. And so if she starts laying eggs pretty soon, look at that frame, just full of, full of bees. This was a huge monster swarm. It looks like maybe, you know, 30, 40,000 bees in a swarm, which is crazy. Now, sometimes swarms add together, so it may have been a swarm. And I don't even know where they came from. They look like they're Russian bees, but I find that hard to believe because we split them so much. Our hives they may have come from anywhere it could be carnies because they have that shade on their abdomen anyway this is hank for the wildflower bee farm just to let you know i went through as i'm doing here checked out the frames all honey all nectar all pollen and that's why i added a frame of uh, of sorry a box of frames and here close up you can see all the honey they're actually making comb on top of the old comb and eventually the queen may lay there, or it may be just for storing even more honey and pollen and nectar. So this is Hank for the Wildflower Bee Farm. You have an amazing day, and we'll talk soon.